that as citizens, we not only have an obligation, but a duty to stand up for what we believe. And the basic principles that I've been raised with about who we are and what we stand for, I think that I can be, and I believe I'll be a good representative of what St. George is and, and Ivan, excuse me, Ivan's uh, enterprise all the way down Highway 18 of the values that we know to be true, and they're all based off of the Constitution to make sure that we have our freedom of liberty and life and property and pursuit of happiness, because I really believe that if the people have that power. I have four children, my youngest is one, and my oldest is seven. And I want them to be able to run cattle uh, if they want to on these lands, and I want them to be able to enjoy the same freedoms I do. And as much as I would rather just be out there chasing cows right now than stand in front of you folks, uh, I believe I have to be involved uh, looks like we do have some good choices here, to be honest, so. The penalty that we as good men pay for not getting involved in public affairs is having to be governed by evil men. So uh, that is why I'm getting involved, is uh, I, I want to see uh, good triumph over evil. I want to see uh, this land, which I believe is, is divinely uh, created. I want to see this country do well and um, I want to see the state of Utah continue to prosper. What is your view of state spending and taxes? So realistically, there are things that our state does need to spend money on. But I think a lot of times, uh, the money or the justification behind them is in the name of public safety or in the name of, of some kind of crisis that might happen. Uh, the industries that create revenue uh, in this area need to be protected also. Um, you know, agricultural, mining, manufacturing, those things create revenue here and keep that revenue here. We are the best managed state in the union. And it is, uh, I take my hat, hat off to uh, some of the legislators that have followed uh, in, our, in our footsteps before us. Um, we, but again, 14.2, going to go up to 15.1 billion. That's the, the budget. That's the money that we will spend as a state. Um, but we do get the most bang for the buck. Time. Everybody that's involved should be a stakeholder. And if you're going to spend money, you should have to be involved in where the money comes from and where it goes. But there is a stewardship that we have as legislatures to make sure that is as small as possible do we continue to simplify and reduce taxes onto the people because I have more confidence in these gentlemen here running their own business than I do the government to generate wealth or prosperity in our community. So I believe that as a legislature, though taxes are a necessity part, it is our obligation and our duty to make sure that those are as small as possible, to simplify the taxes as much as possible and get as much revenue back into the people's hand because it's the people that generate wealth, not the government. What is your position on the public lands battle with the federal government? The uh, federal government needs to understand that our state is sick and tired of being run over by them. Um, I am 100% I am for the lawsuit against the federal government uh, to return those lands back to the people of Utah for us to manage because they are poor managers and we, we can manage those lands better. Regulatory agencies don't need to have police power. Amen. Okay? The sheriff needs to be the police in the counties, in the rural areas. Inside the cities, obviously, you've got the, the chief of police and the police departments. But we need to strip the power to police away from the BLM and some of these other agencies. Okay? The Tenth Amendment to the Constitution and the uh, property clause of the Constitution give Utah all the rights that all the other states east of the Mississippi have to manage their own land. I do agree with Steve 100% about taking away the, the law enforcement ability from the arm, and other sheriffs have done it, and our sheriff can do that. You know, one thing about Corey Pulsifer that y'all should pat him on his back. When this Bundy issue was going down and they are going to take those cows out, do you know why they didn't go out? Because of Corey Pulsifer. Lake Tall Pipeline. Um, in my opinion, we're going to have to have the pipeline or that type of resource coming into the community. Uh, we can't develop or conserve enough water to deal with our growth. We can't, in my opinion. 
you look at, I think we're going to grow, we, can, we have about 23, but we're using roughly 50,000 acre feet of water a year. And we have about 62 or 63,000 acre feet of water total in the system. We're completely dependent on the Virgin River drainage basin uh, for, for water in, um, in, in southern Utah. So I'm for the Lake Powell Pipeline, but we need to figure out how to make it uh, affordable. I want to listen to other options that we have. And I heard one about three weeks ago that made me think, hey, you know what? There is options if we start looking. Up in the Great Basin, so that's closer than Lake Powell, right up here by Wheeler Peak, up the road, Pioche. Um, Nevada owns a lot of water rights up there, and they're trying to pipe that in to Las Vegas, which is very expensive for them, where the Colorado River already goes to them. And the suggestion was, why don't we exchange with Nevada their rights for our rights? Have them, them, bring the, I don't sound like Donald Trump, I'm gonna make them build that wall. I'm gonna have them build them, build the, the pipe down to St. George because it's shorter, so it'll save, them, it'll save them money, and they'll be able to get the same amount of water because of the water rights we'll exchange in Mountain Colorado. I'm a certified water operator and certified in water rights in the state of Utah. Our Virgin River drainage basin is 100% uh, adjudicated. That indicates that all of the water rights in our area are tapped out. Um, I hate the price tag on that, but uh, we do have to bring water in from somewhere, and this is our most viable resource to bring water in from.